What up, guys? Welcome back to the show. I am your host, Dante. We are back with another video, and I stumbled across this article on Twitter slash X, whatever you guys want to call it, from a Twitter user called Genki uh, Yochi. I hope I said that right. And the article is freaking awesome, and it says... Are anime tourists the most annoying of anime fans? And the obvious answer to that question is... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> we all can agree. that Anime tourists are just the most annoying people in the anime community. Uh, what are anime tourists, in case you guys are wondering? Well, they're mainly the casual um, anime watchers who feel it's their job. It's their duty to police other fans and take away our fun. Now, what they do is they'll see an anime that say that's high in fan service and be like, Well, this anime is not like My Hero Academia. Why is there so much unrealistic body standards? Fire Force is just so unreal and it structuralizes and objectifies women. If you can't allow this, you must boycott the writer of this manga, this anime. Yeah. They do this not just to Fire Force, they do this to any anime or manga that they feel just so, or they consider just, uh, they, they believe it goes too far. <laughs> Jiggle physics, you know, penny shots, you know, stuff like that. They are quick to lose their freaking minds. So, Let's get into this article real quick. Before I do that, make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a like if you enjoyed the video. A comment to engage in conversation. I really would love to see you guys' comments today because this would be interesting. If you have not subscribed, do me a favor. Support your boy by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Share the video and follow me on Twitter. Now, with all that being said... Let's get to work. Now, there are some things I can't show you in this article because it gets a little raunchy. And I would love to show it to you guys, but the YouTube overlords would not appreciate it. So, either way, if you see some stuff um, cut out, now you know. Okay. Alright, so it says, I recently posted a meme I found that was created by Twitter slash X user Rev says this. Um, the meme described how to spot an anime tourist. They only like anime because it's trendy and only watch mainstream shonen genres such uh, shows that everyone else likes. Also, they feel it's their right to police other users and tell them what is and isn't appropriate. Which is true, I have seen this plenty of times, to be fair, mainly on Twitter, and sometimes on TikTok, but mostly Twitter, right? Okay, so it says, I asked JList customers to give me their personal feedback about what kind of anime fan they hate. Everyone was happy to do so. Here are some of their replies. Now, this is about to get interesting, okay? <laughs> it says, the kind of anime fan I dislike is the disingenuous kind that only voices their concerns because they want to force unnecessary changes and ultimately control what is slash isn't acceptable in Japanese media. These fans claim that it is criticism, but genuine fans don't police artifacts. Now, what people forget to realize or remember is that anime, manga, belong to the Japanese. It's their entertainment that they chose to share with the rest of the world. And also, because it now has a massive following, it's become quite popular now. But either way, anime and manga belong to the Japanese. They don't have to do anything that they don't want to do. Because if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. You can go and watch... Um, Marvel, you can watch DC Comics, uh, Animated Universe, stuff like that. You can watch all that stuff that is uh, created for Western viewers. Now, anime and manga, however, were and is created for the people of Japan. So, yeah, they don't have to bend the knee because you saw someone's boobs do some weird, wacky stuff, and now <laughs> you are trying to boycott... Uh, some poor innocent manga creator. Yeah, nah. That is unacceptable, right? I agree with that point 110%. Another one says, I hate anime fans who think Japanese companies should be Americanized to cater to modern Western sensibilities. That is very true. Now, a lot of anime has been, not all, okay, a lot or a decent amount of anime has been uh, highly centered due to the sensibilities of the Western audience. Now, if it's simple, even like simple stuff like, I don't know, like, Cleavage. <laughs> Cleavage is not being censored. In anime, bat scenes are being censored. Well, to be fair, it is somewhat still uh, censored, but now they're being censored in 
Blu-ray DVDs <laughs> because they don't want to listen. Well, people in Japan don't want to listen to um, the non-stop whining, bitching, and complaining of the Western viewers. And it's, I think it's crazy. You know, I don't think they should have to go that far to please the West. But it's happening not as frequent, but it is happening more often just so that the West isn't going to cry. And I remember seeing an article at some point, I don't know if it's true, of, of a very popular fan service anime called Witchblade. And when I watched it back in the day, that show was highly uncensored from the cover um, photo to the posters and everything uncensored. Now, recently, I believe I saw an article where uh, they tried to censor it, <laughs> okay, and it didn't go well. They was like, oh, wait, hold on. Let's backtrack here. The fans don't like this, and they ended up uncensoring it again. Because either way, what well, guys, the anime is old, one, and two, why? <laughs> if the Western crybies want to cry about fan service, then they can go and watch something that has no fan service because that show is full of fan service, okay? So, yeah, I totally agree about that. What do you guys think about that situation? How do you feel about that? Uh, it says, um, call me, call me Killjoy, but I think that because this is not to my taste, no one should be able to <laughs> enjoy it either. That is also a fact. Anime tourists who are used to watching mainstream anime, Naruto, Bleach, My Hero Academia, or Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, or whatever. Yeah, when they, <laughs> when they see something that's out of the ordinary, like High School DxD, High School of the Dead, and a, a plethora of fan service anime, um, uh, Kill a Kill, um, they just go like, well, if I don't like it, well, you shouldn't be able to like it either, because how dare you? Yeah. It's a very common thing amongst anime tourists, and we mock them for this. I mean, I'm not saying go harass them, don't threaten them, we don't do that here, okay? No, 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 that ain't nice, all right? But we do playfully mock these people on the social medias, okay? Because they deserve to be mocked, all right? Because in my aunt's opinion, it goes beyond, I don't like this show, here's why, and into anyone who watches slash enjoys this show is... And Dash, and I don't think Dash should exist. If you need an entire hobby to change for you, maybe it isn't the hobby that is the problem. Fact, because if you don't like, if you don't like it, the problem just could be you. Yeah, it's it's that simple. It's not complicated, okay? Anime tourists, um, I believe it's really spiked after the year 2020, the year of the Rona, and people had nothing else to do, so they started binging anime and stuff like that. And a lot of Western celebrities came out and like, oh, I like this show. I grew up watching Yu Yu Hakusho and stuff like that. And now it's become like extremely mainstream. I believe what in Japan, not Japan, um, uh, the Crunchyroll, some anime award show is happening and Meg The Stallion might be hosting it or something like that. <laughs> How mainstream anime is nowadays. Just saying, right? All right. So it says another one. Um, the kind of anime fan I hate is the anti-fan service slash Centrum Brigade complaining about the dumbest things unimaginable. Like, oh no, anime, edgy, and nudity are going to burn my eyes out. People are way too uptight about the anime booba. Ugh. And it's true. See, people watch anime, read manga, because they want to escape reality. Anime and manga, just like gaming, is a form of escapism. We're not watching it to be like, oh, this is, I want more realism. I want to see more social political stuff in my entertainment. No, we want to enjoy seeing the uh, crazy boob jiggling and <laughs> we know it's, it's, it's crazy. It's funny. It's the same way most guys don't give a shite about when um, Grey Fool, whatever his name is from Fairy Tale, is shirtless every two seconds. <laughs> we just kind of laugh it off. Or where uh, in Fire Force, the, the firefighters are all like posing and they're all like ripped and chiseled. And we're just like, oh, well, it's anime. <laughs> we kind of just like, we don't give a shit because it's anime. It's supposed to be funny. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. So I agree with that as well. Anime tourists are just annoying. <laughs> Not all of them are that bad, but. They've, they've, they've gotten worse over time, especially when they go on social media to harass anime and manga creators in Japan. Like I said before, this 
form of entertainment was created for the Japanese. It got so popular, they're sharing it for the rest of the world to enjoy. And we love it. If you don't like their form of entertainment, it's not up to you to dictate how they want to create their entertainment. Can some of them be a little crazy? Yes. I just skip it and go to the next one. <laughs> what I do? That would be like the equivalent of, let's say, uh, Africa, right? And they, they push out these uh, awesome like novels and books and whatever. And then white people were just like, yeah, um, I would wish they would put more of us in there because it's not great that we're not more involved in African entertainment. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, nah, guys, it's, nah, 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 it's weird. <laughs> it's just freaking weird. This is Japanese entertainment. You don't have to like it. You don't have to tell them what to do about their stuff, okay? Let's see some more. See, there we go. We get into the raunchy stuff. People who claim to be anime fans but actually hate anime, they go out their way to watch shows they don't like just so they can complain about them. I realized there was a lot of recent anti-tubers. They call them anti-tubers or anime YouTubers who started off, you know, praising anime, fan servers, the stories or whatever. And then once they got to fandom and got those millions of subscribers and they're just like, well, this has to be fan service. <laughs> I don't, I don't like this anime. It's just evil, and they should learn to respect the instructional women and stop objectifying them and giving them unrealistic body standards. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it, it gets bad. <laughs> All right, we got another one. The worst kind of anime fans are people who think they should only comply with their sensibilities. Also, people who judge me for watching dubs. Yeah, those are annoying too. Now, this one's gonna be raunchy. I'm gonna skip this one. The fans. Who give a shite to people for only liking popular anime? Like, who? Why does it matter so much? If they're having fun watching it, then cool. Yeah, I agree. Who cares? If you only like popular anime, cool, good for you. I like popular and unpopular ones. People have anime that people have never heard of before. That anime is my shtick. I've been watching anime for damn near two decades now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Another one. The anime fans I hate the most are those who watch anime just because it's trendy. Then complain requesting to be chained because they didn't like something. Yes, those exist, and they are also very annoying. I just like anime tourists and antis. Antis are, maybe you know, anti fan service, anti lollies and stuff like that. Very touchy subject. Um, who always try to make their problems everyone else's. Is it that hard to close something and move on if you don't like it? If you don't like, like hamburgers then don't go to burger king and <laughs> get offended just go somewhere else like olive garden yeah, that's a good point <laughs> got a good point aunties are hated let's get to the end of the article because i think you guys get the gist of it right and uh anime tourists are the absolute worst and i enjoy mocking them on the social medias because they gotta understand, because you hate something so much, because you just joined our space, doesn't mean you get to dictate it because something you saw, just something you just don't like, <laughs> okay? You're not the anime overlords here, okay? Nah, like I said before, you want something that's more subtle, that's lacking objectification of women, Marvel and DC is just the place for you. Especially current Marvel and DC. Go, go crazy. Have at it. But don't come over here, because we don't want what you guys did to Marvel and DC, okay? We're going to protect anime at all costs here, okay? We don't need y'all here. So, so, what can we take away from this discussion about anime fans? Whenever I ask a question on Twitter slash X and get dozens of strong responses from my followers, I know this is a topic people sh uh, feel strongly about. I hope you enjoyed the discussion and didn't feel it had too much negativity. No, it's just an eye-opener. Not negative at all. Not negative at all. Personally, I love the uh, I love that anime is a big tent with hundreds of smaller tents inside it. If you get tired of watching idol anime or isekai shows, a mecha series, or historical dramas, or romance anime, or Yuri, or BL, there's always something fresh and new you can move on to without leaving the umbrella of anime. If you can't find anything right now, wait for the next season to start. It's great. There are um, Doe anime like One Piece and Naruto, although I always hope most fans will walk through the door and find something even better to enjoy. Which is true. Anime is such a beautiful thing. There's something for everyone. Like the article says, it's some Yuri, Yaoi, 
uh, mecha, isekai, idol anime, uh, there's something for everyone there. There's anime with fan service, mild fan service, or no fan service. You get to pick your poison and go crazy. Okay, let guys who enjoy fan service like me enjoy our fan service. And if you don't like it, you can go watch something else. Okay, so yes, uh, anime tourists are the absolute worst. And um, this is a great article. I did enjoy it. A lot of the answers were freaking spot on. I think they um, basically say exactly what a lot of us have been thinking for a while now. Anime tourists are not welcome. They are the most annoying people in the anime community. And I stand by that. I stand by it. Okay. Now, with all that being said, guys, what do y'all think about this article? Drop your comment down below in the comment section. Looking forward to reading it. Okay, if you're not subscribed, do me a favor and subscribe for more content in anime, manga, gaming, nerdy culture. And I'd appreciate that. And I'll see you on the comment section and in the next video. Later. <laughs>